Hello and welcome to Nikolai's genetics lessons. Today's problem is in some squashes yellow fruit color that is double Y is dominant to white that is small Y. If squash true breeding for yellow fruit is crossed with squash true breeding for the white fruit, what would be appearance of the F1 generation and in what proportions? What would the genotypes be and in what proportion? And from the F1 generation above, what would be the genotypic and phenotypic ratios of the F2 generation? This is very easy problem. I hope that most of you would be able to solve this problem very easily. And uh, if you need a time to think how to solve this problem, I recommend you to stop video here and uh, please run video again when you would be ready so you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So. Uh, we have two alleles here. One allele is dominant, it is capital Y, and another is recessive, small y. And these two alleles can produce in diploid organism three uh, variants. One would be capital Y, capital Y. Another one could be capital Y, small y. And the last one can be small y, small y. And uh, this two would produce phenotypically yellow squash, and this one would produce phenotypically white squash. So uh, we told that uh, we have to cross two parents, that is true breeding, and we have uh, two such genotypes here. And this genotype would be true breeding, and this genotype also would be true breeding. And this genotype that is heterozygous wouldn't be true breeding, because when we cross um, two parents, that is both homozygous dominant for yellow color, of course these two parents only can produce progeny with yellow fruits. And if we cross uh, another uh, true breeding parents, that is going to be homozygous recessive, of course uh, this um, cross also would produce progeny that are going to have only white uh, colored fruits. So we told that we have to cross two parents, that is true breeding, so we can build a Punnett square and one true breeding parent would be homozygous dominant, another true breeding parent that is going to be homozygous recessive. Uh, when we cross these two genotypes, so this is going to be a parent that produce white uh, fruits and here is the parent that produce yellow fruits. So as you see, the genotypes going to be as follows. So capital Y, small y here, capital Y, small y here, capital Y, small y here, and capital Y, small y here. So that means that uh, this whole uh, generation would be heterozygous and phenotypically would be yellow. So this is going to be um, our answer for the first question. So phenotypically uh, all the progeny of such a cross would produce uh, plants with yellow fruits. So now uh, in order to get F2 generation, so this is F1 generation, we take uh, parents from here from F1 generation and we have to cross them. So we have uh, two heterozygous parents. Once again we build the Punnett square and as you see both parents phenotypically produce yellow fruits and here genotypes would be as follows and as you see uh, genotypic ratio would be 1 
capital Y, capital Y, to, to, capital Y, small y, to one, small y, small y. And this is genotypic ratio. But phenotypic ratio would be three plants that would be with yellow fruits and one that would have white fruits. So phenotypic ratio would be three to one. Or we also can say that 75% going to be uh, plants that produce yellow fruits and 25% uh, of the plants would produce white fruits. And this is our answer. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.